and welcome back today man we got something pretty cool turtle beach just came up with uh, a vr charger um which is some great stuff this is the the fuel vr charger uh compact vr station for meta quest 2 this is crazy nice so if you guys are brand new to the channel please consider subscribing we're going to review this thing if you guys are always interested in the products that i have shoot me an email um check the description below i always leave links to this stuff and they're always um i try to get coupon codes or some kind of deals for you guys so um and then as always yeah smash the thumbs up if you guys appreciate this content so here we go i'm very excited about this i do have has as you guys see my mad scientist i haven't used this thing in a minute because i've been on the go, but I have my mad scientist uh, mask right here. <laughs> um, pretty good. This thing is awesome. Big shout out to uh, actually a couple people, um, but big shout out to the beach. Big shout out to Roger. Big shout out um, to Dabs. Uh, there's few people that have been that have gotten me in on this thing. So um, yeah, thank you because this thing is awesome. Now. Um, Turtle Beach has this new station that you could actually charge your stuff all in one. So I'm going to try my best here because this thing is, is is not big, but it's... I don't know how I'm going to do it here with all the cameras. So here it is. So you do get a couple... Well, you get a sticker, some registration stuff, some reading material. Just a couple things here to to look at. and And yeah, here is the the station so the two remotes will come here and looks like the the metal ports are going to be right inside it looks like the oculus just sits right there here is the usb-c and this thing does come off it looks like it's magnetic and then there is the cable i wonder if this thing comes up or not so I'm about to find out how this works um i think i want to say this magnetic thing you just plug it in and then when you sit it down it just automatically connects to it so i don't know how it's going to work with my setup because i do have a pretty intense setup here now the other thing too is you do get a little box over here and there's a couple things that you get so there is a cable here looks like usb-c to usb-c and i'm guessing this will connect on the well somewhere okay connects here in the front and I'm guessing this will connect to some kind of power. Um, that way you guys are all set up. Some new, uh, I, I guess, covers here. This thing you just kind of slide right off. And I do have the battery here. And they do give you uh, some rechargeable batteries. So there you go. Now, just keep in mind, there is some metal parts right here. And that metal will come here to this metal. So when you plug it in, that's how it's supposed to sit. And it's magnetic too. You can actually feel it. So it's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and, and, and put one of these in. So it's going to go just like this with the metal piece sticking out. And then this thing just slides right in. And that's pretty much it. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other one. Here's the new one. Slide this guy right up there. And yeah, everything feels pretty good, pretty nice so far. Okay, so as far as my Oculus goes, I do have a connector thing here, and I'll show you guys here. That's for my my earbuds, um, and it'll probably be easier if I sh if I do this on the smaller camera here. So he here we go. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom camera, and as you can see, here is the well. Here's the 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 magnetic USB C. I have the USB C here already connected. Um, it is pretty easy to take out it's not like it's hard to take out just because i have i have the frankenstein here on top of it it's a little bit trickier to, to get out which is okay but if i do have this thing connected here and i do plug in their usb-c the magnetic one it doesn't fit as easy as i would like it to um and if you can see right there it is kind of it's in the way, as you can see the, the metal piece right there, it's not fully connected. So if I do unplug this guy, now I'm able to push it straight in. And now these two are, are connected pretty good. So that's, it, it's nice. So the only thing is I do have to disconnect this thing, which is fine. I cannot 
connect my uh, my own USB to this thing, um, which is okay also. Just keep in mind, you're going to have to disconnect it if you're going to put it on here to charge. But now I do have a... Probably easier if I come here to the big one. Um, big camera here. Um, I do have an anchor charger that is USB-C. And because these are... It's, it's C to C, which is great. Um, again, I just, I just like when, when, when companies do give you some of the best of the best stuff. So I want to plug it to USB-C. And this thing does not have a uh, charger, or I should say a, a, a charging brick. And this thing should go in the back. So here it is. We're, we're, we're plugged in. And we're going to come here to the bottom camera. So you can see here there's, there, there's three lights. The one in the middle is the one for the Oculus. The one on the right is going to be the right remote. The one on the left is on the left remote. Now this one, it didn't pick up the charge. So I'm going to... Just move this guy around a little bit just to see if I have it connected properly. And just so that way you guys know, if I do unplug this, this light will turn off. Um, so let's go ahead and try plugging this guy in. And now it's not turning on. So um, that indicator should be that I'm fully charged if they're not turning on. Um, I would just double check when you do put them in that you put them in properly. So there you go. So this is light, the, the lights on now. And I, I would think that, so, so yeah, so be sure that you are putting them in right. Um, and it tells you right here if the light is going to be off or on. So I'm assuming that this is going to change green and yep. Just double checking it. Uh, the triggers are going to be in towards, uh, facing the, the Oculus itself. And it says Amber charging green charged. So that's how you know if this thing is going to be fully charged, if it's green. So if you put it in and it's not working, then that's that's what you need to do. So the other thing I recommend is with the straps, you you hold it back so that way it sits behind the the, the, the charger itself. So there you go. That way you guys could see it. And that way it doesn't get in the way. Now, if it is in the way for some reason, um, it actually won't uh, register. It won't it won't be charging here. So it just turned on right now saying that cool. I'm, I'm charging. So do the same thing on the other side. And there it goes. Now I have all three lights on. So it is charging and it is doing its thing. So it's pretty nice. Like, like if you guys could see it there in the background, um, I have the whole thing all set up. Um, sometimes you have to wiggle it around just a little bit. Um, again, I have a lot of f like extra things connected to it. If you had nothing connected to it, um, it should just sit there and charge and be fine. For me, I have the Frankenstein thing. That's the whole thing that goes around. I got the power pack that comes on top. That's good for like 16 hours. Um, I also have the, the, the little AC vent here in the front. Um, so as you can see, there's the AC vent. There's my power pack. And then this black thing that comes around that you saw the strap behind my head is the is the, the, the Frankenstein is what we call it. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. This thing is awesome. I'm going to leave it there because I haven't used it for quite a while. So I'm sure it needs charging. The batteries on the on the on the remotes are well, they're theirs. And, and it's typical when you get these things, put it on, plug it in, charge it up, leave it alone. Um, and I know this Oculus thing is probably dead. And then if I check my power pack. Um, it looks like there's one line out of the four, so I got to definitely, it's 25% it's or less, so I definitely got to charge that sucker up too. So, so yeah, hope you guys appreciated today's content. Turtle Beach is on fire right now. They're covering PlayStation, Xbox, Oculus, uh, Nintendo Wii, cell phones. They're, they're covering anything and everything when it comes uh, to this gaming stuff, to keeping your, your stuff fueled up. But with all that being said, hope you guys have a good one. Let me know what you guys think. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.